a little more than that. So I'm going to close this link. This time I'm going to keep this one. So this is a little good. Alright. So I'm going to clear the screen. I want to make it as complete black. Okay, let me, let me. Should I make it black? Okay, this is a terminal. Right, so this is a terminal. This is, I can edit the profile, current profile. This is a profile. Colors. And I can click on this background color here. Okay, I can first you now copy this code here. Control C. Cancel. Right, I can make this. All right, so here we go. Here we have, right? So, so we learned about LS. We learned about CD or change directory. CD, I uh, say desktop. So it says it, it enters it. So if I press CD dot, that means it will go to the present directory so I am in the directory I mean why should I go why I want to go to the present directory if I press cd dot dot that means a directory above the directory in which I am working right so that is right so let's do pwd right so present working directory was home slash schedule so inside the we have desktop so we were in desktop directory and I, when I press cd dot dot it went to the top directory let's see if I press cd dot dot again so it went here if I press cd dot dot again isn't that good so it, it went here the topmost directory so I'm gonna, if I press just cd if I just type cd it's gonna take me to my default working directory or my desktop or my home directory okay so home slash schedule my directory okay so let's come back to ls if i press ls minus l i'm sorry ls minus l ls minus l it's going to give me the lengthy file names press ls minus a it's going to give me all if i press ls minus t nothing yet okay what is T? Actually, T is uh, no, a sort switch, right? I'm going to show you how. LS minus ALT. I'm going to combine all three. Here we go. So here, LS minus AT. Can I do that? No. LS minus ALTR. Here, T is going to know show the time or the time of creation or the time uh, at which it was all altered all right the last time when was it touched or when was it edited opened or altered right so that is what it's going to do ls minus al is this ls minus altr anyway l is going to show that too so don't worry about it if i press ls minus altr r is reverse chronological order so what we have here is December 210033 is the last if I type it I'm gonna get that one and this one is to the far if I press if I don't take R it's gonna give me December 11 so that's that is how you do it so got confused okay let's look the manual for LS MAN man or manual manual LS so it's going to give me the manual for it. Please note that I'm not able to use the mouse. I'm scrolling down, it's not working. So what I do, I press F as in forward, and I can press B as in backward, right? Forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. Or I can press space bar. It moves. Up arrow, down arrow for line by line, right? Page up, page down. So this is how I move, right? So this is a manual page, okay, this is where you get the man, a manual page for it, okay. To quit, all I have to do is press the escape key, no, I have to press Q, Q as in quit. So, let me say you want to know more, info ls, 
it's going to give you the information about the ls command so this program lists information about files of any type including directories options and file arguments can be intermixed arbitrarily as usual for non option so you have everything here i mean you don't have to even you know go and check it out and ask someone so anyway whenever you want to learn a command right so the first thing or the three things that you're going to do for that command is first you're going to say let's say i want to learn man here man ls so i'm going to re read the manual or i'm going to first start with info ls and i'm going to read the information and ls dash dash help i'm going to do that too so whichever you know is good for you but you can go through that whenever you want to use that whenever you know you feel the need of it okay let's say i'm going to click on documentation here now i'm going to click on help right i'm going to type ls do i get it let's see I mean, I'm not Hmm, I have ls here. Chrome net tool manual? No. Well, it is actually related to something, so commands are not here. So now we know that commands are not here. Anyway, just wanted to show you that. So that is just to give you information here. So you have three different you know, pages or three different tools which, is going to, you know, which are going to help you to learn any command or master any command. Okay, so that is. So that is it to it. That is it. That's it. <laughs> so we learned okay, LS, CD, PWD, present working directory. So let's go ahead and now and list that. Right? So let's say I wanna edit, I wanna make, I wanna list it. I mean I don't remember now, right? I mean what I covered or something. So I'm gonna press G edit. Let's enter. It's going to open up a file. Okay. But I can't do anything here. It's not even accessible. So what I have to do is I want to close this close without saving. G edit and sign. So and then so I'm going to use this and this one too. So what is this? This is a process identification number. Okay. Process identification number for G edit. So So these are the commands here, right? Edit preferences, editor, font, colors, monospace, 12 is there, I'm going to say 24, 26, okay, close. So CD, I will request you to watch it in full screen, please, right in YouTube. So CD. Command to change the directory. I'm sorry, directory, right? CD is a command to change directory. I'm going to press enter here. CD desktop takes us into the desktop directory. Example. All right. So next we cover PWD. Change to a three PWD. Present working directory. All right. So. Prints out or if you want to put it in layman terms tells us it's not going to tell you but it's going to show you tells us or show us the working directory that we are in 
Uh, in other words, 